Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we answer the age-old question. Can you have a 100% uptime on your standard? Let's get into it. What's up guys welcome back hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse that took a bit of editing to do because i had absolutely no clue how to speed anything up in davinci so hopefully you guys enjoyed i will improve on that trust me before we get into the bread and butter of the build just a few things i need to mention i'm doing a pvp top 5 series i'll have a card do that in the top right hand corner of the screen uh yeah over there so please click on that if you have any submissions i need more clips guys otherwise i'm not gonna be able to do a top 5 this friday i'll have to do it next friday which is the end of the world so give me kind of chance to edit the clips and such next patrons you guys are absolutely amazing i never advertise my patreon if, if you guys go click on it it's on the banner on my channel i also have a link down in the description doing this full time as you guys know or may not know so any bit of support i get will greatly help improve the channel and content that i produce for you guys now 72 percent of my subscribers or excuse me viewers are not subscribed so please do your boy horcrux a favor just hit that subscribe button you don't have to enable the bell icon you only have to like the content you can dislike everything doesn't matter to me helps you out algorithm just subscribe that would really help the channel grow now with all the introductions out of the way how do we actually do this guys so i'm just going to toss some math out there real quick so the shifting standard lasts for 26 seconds you guys saw in the clip we get our ult back every 24.5 seconds. So therefore you have 100% uptime. One of the sets I was running was Elf Bane. I'm gonna discuss that here in just a second to increase the duration of that. We didn't even need Elf Bane apparently. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And if you don't do it with any of the sets and build that I'm running, it's very easy to do this by the way. I'm considering making this like my main type of build. Like honest to God guys, it, it's phenomenal. We actually reduced the time between our ults by 65.6%. So you're going to take 24.5 seconds, divide that by 71.16 seconds, which is what it takes without any kind of ult reduction or anything, or ult generation is what the normal time would take for your leap. So yeah, we're reducing it by 65.6%. That is absolutely amazing, guys. So what are we actually doing to do this? I didn't go all out. I just wanted to see if it was possible. And it is definitely possible. And not only is it possible... But I'm actually thinking that ult generation on the DK may be the way to go. It may be the missing piece to the DK that no one has uncovered. And we may have uncovered it here on the channel, guys. To be able to get your standard back that quick with such little effort is amazing. So, again, we was running uh, uh, Elf Bane. It really doesn't matter. But... One set we was running, obviously Blood Spawn. This gives us uh, the mo most old generation, kind of the most useful monster set. It's viable in pretty much any DK build. So set number one we was running was Blood Spawn. Set number two we was running was uh, Potentates, the three-piece Potentates on the back bar, reducing our ultimate cost by 15%. And then the only other thing on our gear, guys, that we was running to get our ultimate back that fast was Decisive. So, Decisive is actually amazing. I'm really considering running this on almost all my DK builds, at, at least on the back bar from now on. Like the amount of ult generator, we, we have four different instances of how you get your ult. We have a blood spawn proc, we have just your passive ult regeneration, we have minor and major heroism up at all times. I want to explain how we do that here in just a moment. So, this has a 55% chance to generate one ultimate. We have four instances of this. So do the math. You probably you have a probability of getting an additional two ultimates a second. 
your normal ult regeneration will give you three ult per second. This gives you two additional, so that's 66.6% .6 more ult regeneration just by having decisive, okay? Assuming you're running other instances of uh, ult regeneration as well, like blood spawn and yada yada, you guys get it. So, we are using some minor heroism potions, which I have discussed in my latest video. I'll leave a card up here if you guys are familiar and looking at that and some of the OP potions I use for this build. Um, I just toss on anything in minor heroism, doesn't matter. When you pop these, you get minor heroism, it gives you one ultimate every 1.5 seconds. Okay? Now, you guys may be wondering, where are we getting our second source of major heroism? No, it's not Danger Trickery because it has like a 1 to 5 chance of actually getting it. So, theoretically, you know, viability wise, you have a 1 to 5 chance to do this, and I don't like those odds. So, we go into our champion points. This is something you can proc consistently down in here in the ritual. Last stand, when you take damage below 20% health, you gain major heroism, generating 3 ultimate every 1.5 seconds. For 9 seconds, this is on 9 second cooldown. You can have 100% uptime on this as long as you're, you let your health drop below 20%. It is amazing. Like, this is a great passive. I'm considering specking into this on any further DK build I go. I'll let you guys know what I come up with, but this gives us major heroism. Pots gives us minor heroism. We're getting ult from blood spawn, we're getting ult reduction from potentates, and last but not least, we're getting ult regeneration from decisive. And that's pretty much it, guys. You, you can toss whatever else you want on this. You want to toss her off guard? Fuck it. Uh, you, you, it doesn't matter. You, you don't even need like to run elf bane or or, or or even potentates for that matter. Just minor heroism, major heroism, and the decisive trait alone. You know, with Blood Swan, obviously, it gives you so much ultimate regeneration, guys. So it takes 191 ultimate on our back bar to get our standard, okay? So if we're able to get 191 ult in 24 seconds, imagine how many leaps we could toss out. So every 15 seconds, approximately, you could have a leap ready. You know, approximately, you know, give or take, you know, there's math and all kinds of things, you know, kind of go into, you know, a lot of averages, but theoretically, you know, on average, I think every 15 seconds, if you run decisive and your minor major heroism with just, just blood spawn, I think you can get leap, like, literally every 15 seconds, and we're definitely going to try building without later. Hopefully, you guys like to see that. I think it'd be pretty interesting when it comes to the identity of the DK to get your ultimate back this quick and how much flexibility that really uncovers for the class. So you literally would no longer have to worry about sustain. You would put mad damage and mad tankiness. And I think that might be the missing piece of the DK guys. I don't really know. But uh, I will investigate this today, tomorrow, over the weekend, kind of get back to you guys on Monday. So that pretty much does it. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was a fun little video. The editing was an absolute nightmare, but going forward when I do things like this, I will definitely do better. And again, guys, if you're not currently subscribed, please hit the sub button. I do occasionally put out some pretty decent content for you guys. So with all that being said, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.